Let's start with something simple, a right-angled triangle. The area formula is base multiplied by height divided by two. For example, if the base is six units and the height is three units, then six multiplied by three equals 18, divided by two gives nine square units. Simple, right? That's because a triangle is just half of a rectangle. But what happens when the shape isn't simple, like a smooth U-shaped curve, say Y equals X, power two? How do we find the area under that curve? Geometry alone can't handle that, and this is where calculus comes in. Integration, a key part of calculus, helps us find the area under curves by breaking them into very thin slices, like skinny rectangles. Imagine each rectangle is very thin. The thinner they are, the better the estimate of the area. For example, let's approximate the area under y equals x power 2, from x equals 0 to x equals 3, using rectangles of width 0 0.3 units. That gives us 10 rectangles. Each rectangle's height is the y value at that x, which is x power 2. At x equals 0 0.3, it is 0 0.09. At 0 0.6, it is 0 0.36. At 0 0.9, it is 0 0.81 and at x equals 3, it is 9. Multiply each height by 0 0.3, add them all up, and you get an approximate area. But what if we make the slices super thin, almost invisible? We call that tiny width dx. When dx becomes extremely small, and almost zero, the total area becomes exact. That's what integration does. Mathematically, the rule is, integration of x power n dx equals x power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1. So for x power 2, it is x power 3 divided by 3. Now calculate from x equals 0 to x equals 3. 27 divided by 3 minus 0 equals 9 square units. That's close to our estimate, but now it's exact. Remember our triangle with base 6 and height 3? We can calculate its area using integration 2. For y equals x, from x equals 0 to x equals 6, the integration of x is x power 2 divided by 2 equals 36 divided by 2 equals 18, divided by 2 equals 9 square units. The same as before. So, where is this useful? Engineers use integration to design curved bridges and arches. Economists use it to calculate total income over time. And physicists use it to measure distance from speed time graphs. Integration is simply a way of adding up infinitely thin slices to get the whole picture. See? Not so scary after all. If this made integration a little clearer for you, Give this video a like and share it with someone who's afraid of calculus. And if we hit 1,000 likes, I'll make part two with even cooler examples.